What is going on, everybody? We're back to Nate watches the entirety of the Blackwell Ghost series, and I've been having a lot of fun with this. And as I said in my previous review, the fourth film was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed it a lot, and despite the fact that these movies are all flawed in one way or another, there's still something about them that keeps me coming back, whether that's Turner Clay's personality, the visual style and presentation of the film. And I know it's on a lower budget, but I, I love found footage mockumentary, Whatever style you want to call this, I always really enjoy it. And so today we're going to talk about the fifth installment in the franchise. Blackwell Ghost 5 is directed by Turner Clay. And this fifth installment of the Blackwell Ghost, the ghost hunting filmmaker returns to the Lightfoot house where he hopes to solve a newly discovered puzzle which may lead to the location of more undiscovered victims. So in the last film, I really enjoyed it. I felt like the tension was so well paced. There was a little bit of introduction into issues that he was having with his wife for leaving for long periods of time and trying to do this investigation. And there were some really unique and interesting ideas that were explored that I really appreciated in the fourth film. Well, in the fifth film, his wife seems to be a little bit more on board because of some of the things that have been discovered. Uh, in this film, he actually gets the opportunity to be deputized, where he's able to, like, help the police force figure out about what happened here because of certain things that he has uncovered. And so there's a lot of interesting elements into the Lightfoot case that I really appreciated a lot. The problem is with this movie, which I'll get into, is that it becomes more of the same in the way that I had a problem with the second Blackwell Ghost film, which is that all of the things that made the fourth film really interesting, he just does it on repeat in this to where it just doesn't feel unique or new and that was really upsetting because this film ended up being one of my lesser favorites in the franchise thus far simply because of the fact that it just becomes more of the same I was happy that he finally would go into rooms and see what was going on with the knocking noises because in all of the other films when you hear that like loud clanging knock he just would not go investigate it and in this one he actually went and investigated it and there were a couple of moments through this one that I feel like the tension was built up really well and you know like this whole thing is like whether or not he's going to see something whether a door's going to open whether something's going to flip over i mean similarly to what someone in this investigation field would experience right if you're a believer in the paranormal or the otherworldly your hope is that something will happen and in this film i feel like it's more of the hoping something will happen to where the tension kind of just falls apart and it lit it jumps all over the place a little bit too much for it to to keep you really engaged the entirety of the runtime and that's the problem I had with the second film because in the first film they did such a great job of building up tension creating this idea and then in the second film it was like hey well we did it for one film it worked let's do it again so in this with the Lightfoot house you're introduced to it in the third movie it's relatively well executed the fourth film kind of amps it up a little bit more to where you're feeling like oh wow this went a new direction and the fifth film it kind of felt like it plateaued at the beginning and then started to drop down towards the end. And although there's some third act reveals in this that I think are really interesting that keep you guessing for what's going to happen in the sixth movie, it just doesn't do enough as a standalone film to really make me want to go back. And obviously with this series, it would be really hard to watch one of these movies on its own because you would have no idea what has occurred previously. But I still enjoy elements of it. And I think Turner Clay has a really interesting personality he's charismatic, he's really funny, he uh, is able to keep you engaged because of his personality, and that's what keeps me coming back to watching this series. And as someone who's a fan of this genre, I think it's hard to find films that are really well made. You can get a million cheap found footage films on Tubi that are just a complete waste of your time, and this feels like Turner Clay has a passion for what he is doing, and that he really loves this genre, and I'm glad because I think it's a really interesting thing and all the movies are up on Amazon. I actually watched the first one for free on Tubi, but the rest of them are like 2 and $3 rentals on Amazon. And he's just someone who really wants to make it in this field. And I think that the way he's kind of approached it is cool because like in this film and the other films, there are moments where it kind of loses that bleed into reality where it feels like someone who's just documenting their lives. And I feel like this one, there's a little bit more of like, okay, it's really hard for me to suspend my disbelief. But I still enjoy the series 
series as a whole. I just think that this film falls flat in comparison to a lot of the other films that came before it. So if you've seen The Blackwell Ghost 5, did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this one was very run-of-the-mill. It felt like more of the same, but I am looking forward to watching the last two in the franchise. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.